Hey guys, it's Zan over at the Plant Obsessed channel. And today I'm going to look in on my 55 gallon bin here and see what it's doing. Kind of peeling back all of the bubble wrap here. Got some hangers on. Put them back in there a little bit. Pull this back. This is the newest area that I fed. Okay, so I'm going to pick you up and move you over here a little so you can see what's happening. Okay, so here is the, the bin in progress. I should start marking this a little bit. But this part here, which is mostly finished, is continues to sink and, and get darker and sink into the level out reducing in bulk or what have you it's a really really nice texture right now but as you can tell still lots of worms in here then this part which I think was fed about a month ago you can tell there is still a lot of worms cruising around in here but it is certainly in progress kinda gonna get in there and fluff it up a little no nope. did we make a bet whether or not they were gonna make a tree out of this or not I'm gonna put this over here looks like it's starting to split was usually an indication that it is growing So just keeping looking through here and seeing if there's any cool worm balls or anything. This still feels really dense, like shredded cardboard when I first put it in there. I can even kind of feel the grit. but you can see at the bottom it's a lot farther along oh here we go this is what we're looking for nice little worm ball still working on those oranges happy little worms So yeah, I'm just going to kind of turn that over, give everything a, a chance to get some air, and also make sure whatever they're working on can get incorporated a little bit. But yeah, this is, this is only after a month. It looked like that, and now it looks like this. trying to make sure everything stays homogenous so that I don't have any clumps of bedding or clumps of food or anything. Get that orange buried in there. That's pretty good. So that's that part all fluffed up. I'm going to bury those coffee filters back back in there. Cuz they are definitely not done. Now let's look and see what we did last time. Okay, so this is the area that I did last time and it was the bedding was super wet. So I'm just going to kind of go through here and see if I find any worms. Here's a couple. And here's a couple more. 
And then over here where there was the apple goo, lots of worms. So it's the closest part to the aged, about a month. So they are definitely getting into the goo. Flip that back a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's a nice worm ball there. Or a clue. At least that's what it's called in Darwin's book on earthworms. Uh, a mess of worms all bound up together like this. They called it clue. So yes, they are definitely moving into the the newest portion that I fed. So that's good news. I'm going to set you down and I'm going to turn this over. It is starting to smell a little bit vinegary for lack of a better word. Apples will do that. So I'm going to give this a good incorporating. Oh yeah, there's another nice worm ball there. This stuff that's on the edge is a little bit drier. So yeah, just based on how many there are in the oldest portion, in this portion, somebody had asked me how many pounds of worms do I think that I have in here. I don't know, my guess was probably six or seven. But every, so this is, you know, my hand. Anything that's about the size of a softball is about a pound. So, um, I don't know, I, I, you know, it's probably closer to ten pounds now. got to get back to work so I can get some more coffee grounds. These guys are probably uncaffeinated. This holiday vacation is... My poor worms. They're going without their caffeine. Alright, well I'm going to build this up. You know what, I think I'm going to just kind of slinky this. I'm going to slide it over so... So this portion here that's half done. I'm going to pile that up on itself a little bit because it keeps sinking. So I want to keep making room at the end and I don't... Oh, those are those. They're still there. Kind of back that up a little bit and then slide this down a little bit. I'm trying to make room for the future. But today I'm going to get this piled up so that it butts up against the half done, making sure that I got everybody, everybody together here. And then I'm going to top it off with some new bedding because I went and fluffed it all up and now the half rotten apples are exposed and uh, you know I don't like gnats any more than anybody so yeah that's a couple couple handfuls of just regular dry bedding I'm going to tuck in any of the food that I can see sitting out on top. Put these green bags in here with the, the active part. Maybe they'll work on them a little bit faster. And then there we are. I'm going to cover that back up with my bubble wrap. 
keep in the moisture so they can keep doing their job. And then over here on the more finished side, keeping the bubble wrap on there so that it maintains a good moisture. I don't want that to dry out all the way and then lose the good beneficial microbes that are in there that I'm going to be needing for my plants. When I start planting up seeds, come on wormies. So that's about it. Got everything covered back up with my bubble wrap. So give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, ring that little notification bell if you'd like to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. But uh, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody have a good night.